In a sign of growing political tension in Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has disbanded a decision-making group that was steering the war in Gaza, while the military announced a pause in the fighting. Nicole Skenga has the latest. Trucks carrying humanitarian supplies entered southern Gaza Monday after Israel's military announced a daily tactical pause in the fighting to allow more aid to reach Palestinians in the war zone. But on the Israeli side of the border, many pallets of food and other supplies are waiting for delivery. An Israeli spokesman is calling on the UN to do more. We've only seen around 25 additional trucks make their way into the Gaza Strip since the beginning of the war. And there is a serious need for additional number of trucks. And we have worked together with the UN to increase that. But unfortunately, the UN isn't doing enough right now. A spokesperson for the UN Humanitarian Office said a breakdown in law and order was preventing workers from using the route. In another major development, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has disbanded his war cabinet. The influential decision-making group was assembled as a coalition of rivals to promote unity during the conflict. In central Gaza, the fighting goes on as Israeli forces pursue the remaining Hamas brigades in Rafah. But Palestinian officials say nine civilians were killed overnight when a home was struck. The Biden administration says Hamas is stalling a deal to release the 120 remaining hostages in exchange for a ceasefire. Across Gaza, war-weary Palestinians marked the beginning of the Islamic holiday of Eid el adha many praying at the ruins of a mosque destroyed in the fighting. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Washington.